Easter is coming, and if you need fresh ideas for some baskets, I have four great ones. The first one I'm going to start with is my toddler themed basket, and as you can see, there's no candy here. <laughs> I think for toddlers, you know, in my opinion, I kind of want to stay away from the candy for now. Sometimes baskets can cost an arm and a leg and you don't have to spend all of that money. I actually got this basket that has little cute bunny ears from the dollar store. How amazing and cool is that? Okay, so what I've done is I've added my basket with some filler and you can use any color you want. And I'm just gonna add these really cute bath mittens. I love these little things. They're just so adorable. I don't know about you, but when my son was two years old, I would always lose his sippy cups. So putting a sippy cup in a basket and giving it away to somebody, I think is like the perfect gift. And then I'm just gonna add some really cute snacks. These are just apple sweet potato pumpkin blueberry snacks, so good. I always like to add the tallest items first. And then I'm gonna add these cute little bath towels. Look at how cute this is! You can never have enough bath towels. And then I'm gonna add this cute little snack cup. You can put crackers in this, fruits. The kids will love it. Here we go. And then I just love these. These are so cute, the little bath ducks. They're so adorable. Just kind of just place them in there so they can join the party. Yay! And there you have it, my toddler-themed Easter basket. Now on to creating a basket for older kids, and I think it's really cool to theme it to their interests. For this one in particular, I'm gonna create an arts and crafts basket, and instead of using a basket, I'm gonna use this carrier here. And I actually love this idea because, you know, after Easter, this can become an art tote. Here's a really cute coloring book. I'm just gonna put that right there. And then I'm just gonna put some paint in there. And then of course, since this is Easter and we're making some really cute baskets, I'm gonna put in some Easter arts and crafts. Isn't that so cute? You have the little bunny ears here. I have a family of six, I think there is. It's my sister, my two brothers, me, and my mom and my dad. So there's six of us. And you know, when you think about buying six Easter baskets, that's a lot of money. You don't have to spend loads of money. You can just get all of your supplies at a dollar store. Look at this cute little bunny mask. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and you can color this with a marker. You can use the paint. I don't know about you, but I love stickers. I just think that they're so fun. I'm gonna add some stickers there. Look at how cute and fun this is. This really cool spiral art. That's like lots of fun. Some scissors and some markers. Just kind of put them in the front like that. And it just gives the kids an idea on how to use this tote. You know, you can store your markers right here. It's also pretty, I think. It like looks like the rainbow. Paint brushes. And they're all set to go. And then of course, since the kids are older, they're gonna want some candy. And I'm just gonna sprinkle in some gold eggs. Kind of, you know, like Easter egg hunt. <laughs> I think it's charming, creative, and it adds a really nice personal touch. Isn't it cute? I think so. My next basket idea is a colored theme basket. And this one in particular is orange. So instead of a basket, I have this really cute backpack. I'm just gonna roll it down like that. And I've already filled it up with some blue filling. This is great because, you know, instead of using a basket, I'm using this backpack. And, you know, my son, he can use it for school, he can use it for sports. It's great storage. This is orange themed, so I have some cardboard cutouts. You can make like really cool robots with this. And again, you wanna start high. And I'm just gonna add a glow stick. I personally love glow sticks, but my son, he loves them too. He participates in night school at his school, and all the kids, you know, they'll stay at school for a few hours at night, so it's dark. And so I like to give him, you know, glow sticks. And not only that, I give him these like glow-in-the-dark PJs. He's just so happy, and I just think it's adorable. 
I'm gonna add a football, add some trucks. Let's get another one in there. I think this is just so adorable. And again, you could just put, you know, whatever they like in here. My son, he loves cars. Another cute little ball. A dinosaur. That's not what a dinosaur says. <laughs> you can tell I have a lot of fun with my son. And then this cute little alien. <laughs> I think this is an alien. I mean, he only has like one eye, either an alien or a friendly monster. There you go. You're right in the middle, sir. Look at how cute you are. And then of course, candy. Give him a little surprise. All righty. There we go. We can't forget about us adults and I have the perfect idea for you. So instead of using, again, a basket, I am gonna use a Bundt cake pan. I think this is a great idea because if you're going over someone's house, this will be a great hostess gift. I chose a spring baking theme using pastel colors. I'm gonna add this really cool dish towel. I love the color, it's so pretty. Purple is actually my favorite color. I'm gonna add some springy themed napkins with some butterflies. I like love butterflies too. <laughs> like purple's my favorite color and I love butterflies. I actually have a little butterfly tattoo, pink and purple. <laughs> Very springy. And then I'm gonna add this really cute timer. Just kind of place you right there. I'm gonna add some measuring spoons, some cupcake liners. I love the colors and the patterns of these. I just think these are so pretty. And you know what? You can never have enough cupcake liners. Oh, this is looking so pretty. Some cool kind of star cookie cutters. Rubber spatulas, you always need that when you're baking. This really cute heart mold, I think it's adorable. And then some sprinkles. And I can't leave my hostess hanging. I'm gonna give them my favorite cupcake recipe. Place that right there. Voila! Oh, so pretty. I think your hostess is gonna love you. So these are my favorite Easter basket ideas. I wanna know, what do you like to put in your baskets? Leave a comment and make sure you subscribe. I'll see you next week. Bye!